Hey there, uh, for those of you just tuning into the channel, I, I wanted to give an update on the first thing that I discussed here on this channel, which was my semi-defense of Halo Infinite. Uh, this was in reaction to Microsoft Games Showcase, where they showed off quite a bit of gameplay and some cutscenes. And I will link that video down below, uh, my reaction video that is, uh, as well as right above me, right now, uh, if you want to watch it. I'm aware this information is not going to be super current, but I wanted to discuss it all in one place. This one place being here. Uh, since that video, we've had a lot more news on Halo Infinite. Uh, multiplayer was announced as free to play at 120 FPS. But if you go on the Halo Waypoint website that I noticed, it says you still need a gold subscription for console multiplayer. So maybe one of you can explain in the comments what they mean by free to play, because maybe I'm just misinterpreting it. I, I don't know. That's going to be a theme of this video. I'm just going to say things and I'm going to say, I don't know. I don't know. It's all speculation here. The biggest news was that the game was being delayed until 2021. Considering what we have heard about the game and some of the issues behind the scenes in development, it's not terribly surprising. Review Tech actually has a really good video on this, which I will link below because I can try to summarize it, but I would come across as a bumbling moron. So yeah, not much different than usual, right? Suffice to say, 343 has been having a lot of issues in development and Further, they revealed the game, and the community wasn't super happy about it, or at best kind of divided, and it's now delayed until 2021. That just adds fuel to the fire. And I fell somewhere in the middle on all of this myself. I, I liked what I saw, but I wasn't over the moon about it. I didn't go and tell my friends and family and go on and on about how it was amazing. But if I did, it would probably look something like this. <gasps> oh. <laughs> HELL YEAH! HALO INFINITE MOTHERFUCKER! Just last week we learned that Joe Stanton is coming on to Halo Infinite to be one of their project leaders on the campaign. If you don't know who Joe Stanton is, neither do I, but I do now because I decided to do this video. Stanton himself is best known for his work writing and cutscene directing Bungie's original Halo games and Apparently he's being brought on board as project lead for the Halo Infinite campaign, which would suggest to me that if it's going to be a 2021 release, it's going to be a late 2021 release. There's been some development issues, as we know, with Infinite, and also due to some world events, it's not unreasonable to suggest that the game will be a later 2021 release. F 2020. What does it all mean? Well... As I said before, we can only speculate. I think it just means that the game is having a lot of issues in development. There are a lot of studios that have been brought on to help with development of this game, or simply Microsoft maybe just didn't like how the campaign was coming along and they brought a former Bungie employee on board who worked on previous Halo games to help maybe get it back on track. They weren't gonna reach the deadline, so they pushed it back a little while. And here's the other side of it. 343 said that this might be the last Halo game for a long time, and as we all know, Halo isn't the king anymore. More or less from about 2001 to about 2007, Halo was a, just a dominant force in the industry. These days, I'm not even the biggest multiplayer person, and even I have fond memories of Halo 3's multiplayer with friends. It was damn good. They say that they want this to be the best Halo game yet, now will that happen? I don't know, it remains to be seen. I assume that they have good intentions, but then there's the rumors that weapons will have cosmetic charms for them in multiplayer, which suggests that there might be some cosmetic monetization in the game, or maybe they'll be able to acquire through normal gameplay. I, I don't know. As I said, that's the theme here. I don't know. But for some reason, if you have a pay to win scenario with microtransactions, the player base flips out and screams about it. But if it's cosmetic, sure, there's players who don't like it, but it's also allowed to slip in there without too much of a fuss. I mean, look, cosmetic microtransactions are not as egregious as pay to win, but either way, I think it is a load of hot garbage. Like, just get a bunch of garbage and just light it on fire. That's what it is. Don't do that, actually. Bad idea. But I assume that they want to make a good game. Why else bother? I I'm sure we'll learn more, and if we don't, then... I guess, I don't know, then <laughs> I guess we won't know. 
Best way to describe this whole scenario is with this one question, which I will then answer. What the hell is going on? Who the hell knows? Anyway, that's it for me. If you want to see more content like this or similar to this, or maybe you just love watching a train wreck in action, subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, inflate my ego, or tell me I'm dumb. Don't do that last part.